Welcome back to episode 7. In this episode, I'll slowly be making my way down to hell where the wall of flesh is. I start by making the Necro Armor, which will increase the damage of my ranged attacks. I was missing a little bit of cobweb for the last piece, but I quickly found that near my base. Now that I've got the full set, I'll be dealing a little bit more damage than I was. I take a little bit of time to sort out my inventory. My next destination is the jungle. I feel like by going down through that, I'll be able to kill a few birds with one stone. Not only will it give me a fairly easy path down to hell, but I can collect items along the way. Not only that, but I can also look for the lizard temple, where the golem is. And I can look for the spawning point of the queen bee, which I'll need to kill later. With everything sorted out, I head to the jungle. As I'm heading left, I forget that I could use a couple more torches, so I head back to base. As I head into the jungle, I notice where a meteorite has landed. Normally I would have passed the meteorite up, but I decided to mine a little bit of it. The reason for this is because I can make the meteorite into bullets that I can use for my gun. I put down some workstation stuff thinking that I could craft the meteorite bullets now, but I forgot that I need an anvil. Since I didn't have enough iron on me to make an anvil, I decided that I would just mine some in the jungle. Now that I've got a bit of meteorite, it's time to head down into the jungle. I quickly find an early game chest with a bunch of items that I won't be using. One of the other reasons that I want to head down through the jungle is because it's very common to find crystal hearts here. I don't feel like my current health will be adequate enough to fight the wall of flesh. I activate a spelunker's potion to light up the area. Not only will it allow me to see ore, but it'll also light up crystal hearts in any treasure chests. This chest gives me an enchanted boomerang, another item that I won't use. This next chest also contains an enchanted boomerang. It does have some gravitation potions though, which are actually pretty useful. As I go down for this crystal heart, I notice the temple to my left. I decide to follow the outside of it to find the entrance that I'll need for later.
I find the entrance pretty quickly. I won't need it now, but I definitely will need to know where it is later on. I am going a little bit out of my way to get these crystal hearts, but I do think that I'll need them in the long run. I might as well get them now while I'm down here anyway. As you can see, I am slowly but surely making my way downward. The further down I go, the closer I'll get to hell where I need to fight the wall of flesh. This chest contains a band of regeneration, which is something that I already have. I come across a jungle shrine which has an anklet of the wind in its chest. The item gives increased movement speed, which doesn't really help that much in combat. While I'm sorting my inventory, it turns into a blood moon. Blood moons are actually pretty bad for me, because it means that there's going to be a lot more enemies spawning. You'll see a little bit later on how this becomes more of an issue. This underwater chest has flippers in it. Flippers are almost completely useless for me at this point.
As I'm making my way down, I come across some lava. This is an indicator that I'm getting a lot closer to hell. And with that crystal heart, I've got the maximum number of health that I can have right now. This means I'll be able to survive a lot easier in any fight that I do against bosses. I grab a little bit of iron ore so I can make that anvil. The anvil will allow me to make those meteorite bullets. I come across a little bit of obsidian as well. I choose to grab some of that because I will need the obsidian to craft things later on. And not long after getting that obsidian, I finally reach hell. You know you're there when you see the background has glowing red vines. Stay tuned for the next episode where I start to build the bridge and get ready to fight the Wall of Flesh. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, you can click on the annotation in the middle of the video to watch the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in episode 8 of this Terraria speedrun.